everyone. I have an organizational tips video for y'all today, as you can tell by the title. Um, in my last, whoa, my camera's messed up. In my last vi vlog video, I asked y'all if y'all wanted to see like a back to school kind of series and organizational tips, and y'all said yes. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing. This is how I do my binder. I am a freshman in high school. I mean, now if you're older than I am or younger than I am, you can of course change it according to your like needs, I guess. Um, also, I have another question. Would y'all like to see a tips for surviving middle school um, thing? Because I know some of y'all might be in middle school. So if y'all want to see that, comment below and tell me. If you don't, don't comment. But I would like a comment anyway. Just anything random. But yeah. <clears throat> okay, so here's my binder. It is a 3 inch, um, 3 inch binder as you can tell. It's 3 inches. So it's pretty big. But at our school, it's just like you just need one binder and you have all your subjects in there. So that's why I got a 3-inch. I like green because green is my favorite color. And um, my school started on August 5th, so it's been a while. Um, so the back is a little dirty, as you can already tell. By the end of the school year, this is going to be a filled up binder. <clears throat> okay. So on the side, I have this little thing that I drew right here, if you can see that. I drew this in art class. And so I just kind of stuck it in here just because I liked it. Okay, so my front, it just says Tanisha here in the middle. I'm pointing right. It says Tanisha. That's my front. See right here? It says Tanisha. And then, as you can tell, I have <clears throat> quotes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all for my Seventeen magazine. And all I did, I just got a plain sheet of white paper, wrote my name, and, like, in really pretty, like, colors, as you can tell. I don't know if my camera will focus focus or not. But, um, just wrote in pretty colors. And then I saved all these for my previous 17 magazines. And I just glued it on here. And, um, <clears throat> I think it's just cute. And every time you're at school, it just reminds you, you know, some basic things that you might not think of at school. Like, a lot of times when you're with other girls and you're just thinking, oh, I'm not worth it. These quotes, like, when you read it, you know kind of gives you a little, it's like a boost in your self-esteem almost, I guess. I don't really know. I just thought they were cute to put on the front of my binder, so I did. Um, and they say, one, the first one says, I want people to see the real me. The second one says, it's too much effort to be aloof and angsty. Third one says, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I know what I believe in. Fourth one is, I don't want to pursue someone at all. I want someone to pursue me. Fifth one is, I'm not some robot who's programmed to be perfect, which is really, I feel like this is the best quote, because it really reminds you at school that you're not perfect, it's okay to make mistakes, and the sixth one says, I'm genuinely a happy person, there's no reason not to be. So yeah, that's just that. Um, my last name's not on here, which is kind of good, because it'd be hard to like cover it up for the video. But okay, um, here, I'm just going to take some stuff out of here where it says my name because we don't want that. Okay, so you open up my binder and it's really messy right now so I apologize. Either this is supposed to be an organizational tips video. Here I just keep like sheets that, you know, that d don't have holes in them so I can't really stick in my binder so I just keep those here. And then, whoa, right here I have a pencil pouch and in my pencil pouch here, I'll take it out for y'all. In my purple pencil pouch, it's just the basic one. You can stick in your binder. In here, I just keep um, Sharpies, double tip Sharpies for art class. Some highlighters. Um, plenty of pens and pencils. Pens, pencils. Um, mechanical pencils, because I love mechanical pencils. And um, an eraser, which I feel... No, sorry, this is not an eraser. This is eraser. This is an eraser. I have an eraser in there. And I always keep some extra lead because I always end up running out of lead. And yeah, I think that's all I keep in here. So I just have double tip sharpies, you know, highlighters, real basics. And um, we only have two academics per semester. So next semester I'm going to be needing a calculator. So I'm going to put that in next semester. But this semester I have art, um, gym, biology and um literature so we have two at our high school we have two academics and two like extra like art or business education or something like that um and then after my 
pencil pouch here. I have the bell schedule, which is basically um, how long each block is. So as you can tell, I wrote for my first block, I wrote 7.30 to 9 o'clock because each um, class is an hour and a half. And so I just wrote that down because on my first day I didn't really know what the timings were. And I just kind of wrote it down so I remember that. And um, let's see, after this, I have... Oops, let's take this out. Yeah. Well, you can't really see it. But after that, I have my... Whoops. I have my art. My art um, divider. And once again, it has little pockets. So in the divider, you can stick in sheets for that class, you know, that don't have holes in it. Or you can put it in the front, whatever you prefer. So I just have my art. Um, divider, then I have some papers, then notes behind it, then I have my health divider, which is gym, and I have some more paper behind it, and my biology, have some, stick all my papers and worksheets in it, same for lit comp, we have, um, papers and worksheets, so, yeah, that's that, and, um, that's basically all my binders, so, this is mainly what I need for every class, I don't need any other thing, and just, for, to be on the safer side, I take a little tote bag to put all my, like, um, textbooks in and just, like, extra things. This is my tote bag. As you can see, it is gray. It is adorable. It's just gray like that. It's really cute. And it has little two pockets in the front and a zipper in the front. And, okay, in the front zipper right here, I keep... Um, art supplies, I keep my paint brushes, my 10 pack of paint brushes. I am in a beginner's art class, um, so I know that's kind of sad, but I want to take art. So I have my beginner 10 paint brushes, and then I have some expensive little colored pencils in here. It's my colored pencils, 12 colored pencils, which we needed for art, so I just keep that in there. Because I don't have space in my um, pencil pouch to keep all this, so I have to keep it in here. And then when you open it, I have my, I can't show you this, it's just my rule book for my school. And we have, um, <clears throat> I keep my textbook in here, because I feel like it's really hard. Um, so this is just basically my textbook. I'm going to cover the back, because it says the name of the state I live in, and I know... Okay, yeah, you're not going to come find me in my state, but just to be on the safe side, so just basically my textbook. Um, yeah, and that's really all I carry to school, and I have my purse, and that's it. So just, my thing is, just keep your binder neat, have dividers in there, have, um, you know, some basic little supplies, and always carry an extra tote bag or even a book bag to keep all your textbooks in there. So yeah, this was my, um organizational tips video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!